Thank you, members. We're going to be moving to privileges of the floor, where we have several. Senator Leva, are you prepared to? Members under privileges of the floor, at Senator at our pro tem de Leon's desk, Senator Leva. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, members. I rise to present to you a distinguished guest here on the floor. This is Ms. Kim Carter. I'm going to tell you about all the wonderful things she's, do she's done, but I'm first going to tell you how I first met her. About a year ago, when I decided to run for office, I was interviewing with one of the local papers in San Bernardino. And most of the executive members of the, uh, the committee didn't really see eye to eye on what I was talking about, but there was one woman who I really connected with, Ms. Kim Carter, and she and I had a wonderful conversation, and I walked out of that meeting thinking, if I actually get the endorsement of this paper, it's going to be because of her. I did get the endorsement, and I will always give her credit. Now, once I left that meeting, I did a little research and found out what an amazing woman she really is. And some of you may know, Ms. Kim Carter is the founder and executive director of the Time for Change Foundation in the city of San Bernardino. When we hear negative things about San Bernardino, we forget to talk about some of the really amazing work that's going on there. Some of you may have heard of a little thing called the CNN Heroes, where CNN scours literally the globe looking for people who are doing the best work. Ms. Kim Carter was one of CNN's top 10 heroes this year. Ms. Carter founded, oops, sorry, I lost my notes. She is one of these individuals. SD20 in the city of San Bernardino are truly blessed to call Ms. Carter one of our own. Kim's powerful message of positive transformation from formerly incarcerated women to renowned advocate, role model, and leader is a true testament to the success of her nonprofit. Kim was motivated by her own incarceration to gain expertise in accounting, with an emphasis in nonprofit organizations and finance and management in the corporate world before she founded San Bernardino based Time for Change in 2002. Its mission is to empower disenfranchised, low income individuals and families by building leadership through evidence based programs and housing to create self sufficiency and thriving communities. The foundation provides training and the opportunity to develop life skills in a nurturing and supportive environment that helps women and children make the transition from homelessness, poverty, and recidivism to an empowered position of independence and self-respect. I think it's important to note that every woman who has gone through Ms. Carter's program, there is a zero recidivism rate. So this is a program that really works. Kim Carter's idol, Harriet Tubman, has profoundly inspired her to dedicate herself to advocacy and the development of provision programs, services, training, and diverse resources for women who have been incarcerated. Ms. Carter has employed her professional experience and skills as a motivational speaker, author, and respected leader to further the mission of the Time for Change Foundation. The Time for Change Foundation has become a national model for housing and supportive services, as well as a low-income housing developer in, developer in San Bernardino with its award-winning, crime-free Phoenix Square housing development. I have had the opportunity to, to, vi to visit these homes and these sites and the particular housing development we're talking about. It is truly amazing when people are given an opportunity and shown what they can do how they actually thrive, and to see the way these women live now, and to hear them talk about how they know how to take care of their children, how they know how to take care of their house. They're things that we all take for granted and forget that somebody along the way actually taught us those things. And maybe these women never had that role model, but now they have Ms. Kim Carter. Carter. The future of the state of California the strength of community statewide and the overall vitality of American society depend in great measure upon the ded dedication of individuals such as Kim Carter. Kim Carter willingly invests her expertise, leadership, and compassion in service to others for the benefit of advancing women whose needs are great, whose lives hold enormous promise, and whose cycle of homelessness, poverty, addiction, and incarceration can and must be broken. 
So it is with great honor, members, that I present this resolution to Ms. Kim Carter to congratulate her selection as one of the top 10 CNN heroes of 2015. Ms. Kim Carter. Welcome, Ms. Carter, to your California State Senate. Senator Leva. May I ask that Ms. Carter address the Senate with a couple words? Without objection, definitely. Thank you. First, I want to say I want to thank this great state of California and the wonderful leadership that's in it because I truly would not be here today if I had members like you who fought for the policies for rehabilitation to help save the person like me. See, it's your bill like AB 1796 to help give me access to food stamps while I worked on rehabilitating myself. It's people who work on the maximum family grant rule to help me get child care so I'm to leave my child in an unsafe condition. It's people, people like you who who work on making sure money is put into reentry. that I'm here today, 22 years clean and sober, thanks to a loving God and people like you. So I'm here today to thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you for all the hard work that you guys do. Lonnie Hancock, I know you in here somewhere. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to realize that I wasn't a bad person, but I was a sick person. I needed one dose of treatment. I've been drug alcohol free for 22 years, out of prison for 21. Today, I'm going to ask that to the community because you allow me to go in and make a difference. I'm going to ask you something. 50,000 nominations in 80 different countries, and I, a product of you, was selected as a top 10 CNN hero. A top 10 CNN hero. My request today is, this is called an official governor's pardon request. I don't know how to get a governor's report, and I already did my certificate of rehabilitation, and it went into the process. I don't know what it takes, but if anybody could get a governor's pardon for the hard work that's been done that I've been able to do the community and giving back, I got letters in here from the district attorney, secretary of corrections, Congress, Senate, assemblies, many, many mayors, and them all support my work because I'm here. I just want to say again, thank you for allowing me to be here today, and please help save a rest like me. Thank you. Welcome thank again, you, Ms. Carter. Ms. Carter. Members.